PTC Creo 3 introduces an exciting new extension called Design Exploration. Changing a product design and exploring new ideas is a technical challenge, especially when developing complex systems with many interdependent components. Typically, this process involves manual backup of models to ad hoc folders, repeatedly closing and cleaning session, and manually revisiting and reviewing massive iterations until making a decision. Design Exploration Extension helps you sail through the process of changing, ideating, and evaluating new designs with an innovative, robust, and intuitive tool made specifically for that purpose. Here's how it's done. A model is opened in session. To start exploring new ideas, I will initiate a design exploration session and give it a name. This is where all my exploration ideas are going to be stored. At this point, system instantly creates a snapshot of entire session content into an initial checkpoint called pre-modified. I can now start playing with changes to my design, without risking the original models. As I move forward, I can create additional checkpoints. Each checkpoint stores only the incremental model changes relatively to the previous checkpoint. User can provide checkpoint name, add comments, and also define keywords to be used for later search. At any point along the design, I can instantly switch between those checkpoints without losing any information. System instantly replaces in session multiple model iterations as captured in the activated checkpoint. That eliminates the need to manually backup models to different locations or clean up session every time you want to switch between different design iterations. When manipulating models in an active checkpoint that already has successors, user can create new checkpoint sequence and form different branches. Branching allows you to develop and evaluate multiple ideas simultaneously. Every branch represents a different direction of the design. If some checkpoints along the branch are no longer needed, you can delete them without losing later information. Simply shorten the branch. Iterations from deleted checkpoint will be merged into its successor. Of course, you can also eliminate the complete branch if this design direction is no longer interesting. Navigating in checkpoint tree can be done in tree view or in timeline view. Checkpoints along active path are presented in darker font, making it easier to locate earlier ones on the same sequence or browse to different branches shown in lighter gray font. Finally, when you are ready to make a decision, you can accept the checkpoint with chosen design and return to the regular session. You can keep entire session data in the specified .tmz file. All model iterations along the path to this checkpoint will now be applied to the real models we started from. If you are not ready yet to make a decision or would like to have a design review by other peers, you can send them the .tmz file so they can explore your ideas or even add their own. Remember, by default, design exploration stores only incremental changes. The first pre-modified checkpoint stores only paths of the start model locations for minimal file size. If you plan to send session data to a user that doesn't have access to the same file system or to original models locations, you can have all the start models also added into the TMZ file. Content of this file is encrypted and compressed to avoid any confusion of its experimental data as legit design models. From same reason, when you are connected to PDM server, you can only download or check out models, but you cannot upload or check in models until you are back in the regular PTC Creo parametric session. When design is finalized, you can also keep this data for future documentation purposes, in case you may ask yourself how did you come up with this idea. Design exploration extension helps you unleash creativity, explore and evaluate multiple ideas simultaneously, and manage complex design changes safely and efficiently.